Mr. Lyons sits here, but he's not going to be here. The mic, the mic no. wrong. Okay. Camera's wrong, sir. I am looking for my agenda. <laughs> I printed it out. Did, did you make it? I did. I, my printer wasn't you, doing it. it. But it's no good I if I can't find it. it. As usual, Mr. Adams prepared you, a good agenda for us. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, if you got another one, I'll take it. <clears throat> Charles, is it good? You got two. I'll take one, too. Oh, I, I, We're bad. <laughs> I got mine on my phone here, I think. Yeah, I do, too, more. but I had not Yeah, we got it on the here. I'll probably say it better. All right, well, let's, I see the first thing is to call us to order, so let's call us to order. And um, I'll call the meeting to order, and let's review the minutes real quickly and see if we can approve those. Any yeah, corrections or amendments? I didn't have any. All right. Do we have a motion to approve minutes as written? I said it. Second. And a second. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Raise your hand. All right. Well, good. We can get on with that. Um, Mr. Kirby's here from Carolina Brew House, uh, um, and he would like to speak to us. So this might be a good place to do that. So come on up. Yeah, please. Well, thanks to the board and to the city planner for allowing me to come speak a little bit. Um, main reason I'm here is to want to introduce myself. My name is David Thornton, and uh, I'm one of the founders of Carolina Bowen House Ales in Anderson. We're a little brewery in Anderson founded on the premise um, where Bowen House is German for farmhouse. We use ingredients that are grown here seasonally, uh, and that's what farmhouse means to us. So in doing so, we um, use grains grown locally in Oconee County, Anderson County, um, Lawrence County, and those many of those grains are sent up to North Carolina to be malted, and then we buy them back again. So we're paying a premium price to get this local product processed out of state, brought back again. Um, anyway, to make a long story short, we won several awards, national and international awards, with beers made with just ingredients from the state of South Carolina. 
uh, in particular two gold medals at the Great American Beer Festival and then the same beer at the Craft Beer Awards. Those are the second and third largest competitions in the world. And it's beer made with prickly pears from the State Botanical Gardens, uh, Wren's a Bruzy Rye, uh, and some local Appalachian white wheat. Uh, so that, uh, and wine barrels from Biltmore. The beer was aged in their wine barrels. So everything about it was hyper local. Um, the real reason I'm here, though, is to tell you about the South Carolina Farm Brewery Bill and the best way to get more information on it. Uh, we've been uh, distributing most of the in information either directly or through Facebook. So I've already met um, Doug and many of his collaborators at the South Carolina Farm Bureau. Um, we've given several talks there to uh, different regional board meetings, um, spoken with the, the Department of Agriculture about this proposed bill. And um, what the bill is getting at is that in 1996, uh, the Farm Bureau helped pass a bill that allowed wineries using 60% ingredients grown in the state of South Carolina to have uh, the rights to sell their beer directly to consumers, um, which would skip the three-tier system that's been in place since prohibition. The three-tier system means that producers have to sell to a distributor, and a distributor acts like a wholesaler and then sells to the retailer, and they're taking 30 to 50% of the retail price of that beer. Um, well, uh, my brewery is also a winery, so we produce cider, mead, which is honey wine, as well as different fruit wines with ingredients grown in South Carolina. So the cider portion of my business already has this right. We can mail beer, we can sell beer direct to a customer, and we don't have to go through the distribution network. Our brewery, which operates under the same premise, is basically asking that the laws that apply to wineries be transferred and also um, applied to breweries. So the bill is simply saying, this language that's in this um, bill, um, which my partner, uh, Brad Thomas, who's a principal attorney at South Carolina Attorneys at Law, um, he can give you a lot more of the legal history around that. Uh, I just know the details of it. And um, so we're just asking for the same uh, rights set forth in that 1996 bill to be applied to breweries. And it would only apply to breweries who are using 60% ingredients grown in the state. And those ingredients may include grain, honey, hops, um, even yeast, uh, and any kind of seasonal fruit, herb, so forth. Uh, my history with agriculture in Oconee County is I helped manage the Oconee Hop Farm, um, which is up in Salem. So my brewery is basically took it over and started running it this year, and we make the Oconee Pale Ale uh, with locally grown grains and hops from here in Oconee County. Um, and additionally, uh, my partner, Casey Certain, um, and I run a homestead where we mentor the Oconee Cultivation Project, uh, Cultivate Teen Program. So we teach teenagers how to uh, make compost, plant produce, harvest it, and then sell it at farmer's market, as well as make things like jams, pickles, breads that they can also sell at farmer's market. So uh, we're, we're definitely tied to Oconee County, and we've been reaching out to farmers directly. I wanted to make the board here aware of this bill. So who, those of you who know some influential people uh, who would be willing to stand behind uh, the commissioner. You know, if for some reason the commissioner doesn't want to sponsor the bill, we'll, we'll have to find a representative or a senator. Um, and we have a list. We already have some. Uh, Davey uh, Hoyt uh, is one person who's already come out and spoken that he would sponsor it. But um, we'd like it really to come from the top down with the commissioner of agriculture standing behind it. The reason we think it's great or it's better than the current three-tiered system um, is that it, instead of just focusing on uh, one layer of economic benefit, which is the brewing industry and the money that we get from revenue, this promotes an entire new agricultural sector that does not exist in the state of South Carolina. Um, and so the Farm Bureau, particularly the Elevator and Anderson, saw the value in that. And they've offered up, should this bill pass, since they're already selling so much grain to our brewery, few other local breweries, mainly distilleries, and we all want malted product. That means they take those kernels, they germinate them, and then they kiln them, and that makes more sugar available to brewing. They're willing to put in the malting facility there at the elevator in Anderson with the growers already lined up. So um, it's kind of like setting up the pins, and we just need to get this signature from the top down um, to make it all take place. The reason that that malt house is important is that in order to get 60% of your ingredients from the state, 
you're probably going to have to have your grain, which is the primary ingredient. Probably 90% of what's in most, most beers is just the grain. Um, that's going to have to come from the state. And since we're already growing it, sending it up to North Carolina, malting it, sending it back, or we're buying it unmalted currently, which is at a very low price of like 25 cents a pound, I think, at the most if we buy small bags, less if we buy it by the ton. Um, the price for malted grains is 80 cents to a dollar for um, the stuff that meets the grade for malting. And so this wouldn't, we'll also talk with um, Gwen, who manages the Foothills uh, Heritage Farmers Market. And she is a grain grower and has harvesting equipment and feeds her grain to her livestock. But uh, what this malting facility would allow is you to grade your grain. You could have a grade A that goes to malting and then a grade B, which is what everybody else is growing right now. And what would factor that grading is basically just kernel size and um, being free of disease. So uh, it's an avenue to get value-added product for something you're already growing and still provide grain for your local livestock operations. A lot of information I threw at you. Yeah. Um, sorry to make you go to Facebook to get more information, <laughs> but all you got to do is type in South Carolina Farm Brewery Bill. Several states have passed similar legislation. Um, this one, we took sort of the best elements of each and simplified them. So instead of saying that um, the brewery itself needs to be a farm, which we are, I'm uh, currently building out 28 acres in Anderson, which the brewery hopes to expand onto for more of an agricultural tourism type of operation. But um, in addition to the brewery, uh, some of the other states require the brewery be a farm. But this has a wider economic impact because it means that we don't need to own the combine. We don't need to own the seed cleaner. We don't need to own the malt facility. We can let people already growing that stuff take care of it. So it's going to have much wide, wider impact. It's going to affect um, creating a new agricultural sector. It's going to improve the profitability of breweries. It's going to lower uh, the uh, price of beer to consumers because nobody's taking that 30 to 50% chunk out of the middle. I mean, we're still going to take some of it, but we're not going to take all of it. So theoretically, it'll lower the price of beer. And then it's going to create a unique agricultural-based tourism because the quality of ingredients we grow here is going to be different from our neighbors, even in like Virginia, Florida, Tennessee. They're going to be having the different, uh, if you borrow a word from wine, the different terroir, flavor of the region. You grow that Renza Bruzi here, and you grow it up in Virginia. It's going to have some different qualities to it. So we think the fourth impact is going to be creating a unique beer culture based on what grows here in South Carolina. And that's what kind of beer tourism is about right now. There's over 6,000 breweries in the United States, so it's hard to pick one and pick why you like that one. Everybody makes fizzy yellow beer, and most everybody makes pretty good beer. Um, <laughs> but to uh, make your brewery stand out as a reflection of your region. So I think the whole industry as a whole is going to be moving to this idea of hyper-local. It's like, you know, we're harvesting our honey this time of year. We got a lot of honey beer. Um, we just got through peach season. Our brewery personally went through 3,500 pounds of cold peaches, and uh, we helped distribute 18,000 pounds of soft or damaged peaches to breweries, cideries, and distilleries. And then we have this peach festival called the Peachening, uh, October 11th. It's a Thursday, but um, it coordinates with the main farm we're getting the cold fruit from. But we've talked to, so now that I've met you, it was <laughs> we got some stuff in the works with that too. So. I won't take up any more time, so if you have any questions, throw them at me. If not, you can find me in Anderson at the Carolina Barnhouse right downtown or at the Foothills Heritage Farmer's Market on Saturdays or the Clemson Farmer's Market on Thursdays. And I'll talk about beer even though I'm selling produce. I was going to ask if you're selling beer at the Farmer's Market. That might make for a pretty good You know, a lot of people have asked about it, so I think we're going to have a tailgate farmer's market in October in Clemson, so we'll be allowed to serve beer at that one. Um, the farmer's markets, I mean, maybe that would get more people to come out to yeah. that. So yeah. we've been talking with Gwen, too, about doing some element of food or something to kind of bring more of the, um, I mean, I hate to say it, but like the tourism crowd to the farmer's market. I go to the farmer's market to buy produce and stuff like that. But if you've got some kind of entertainment, and you've got some music and some beer, you might sit there for a little while and buy yeah. more. Maybe. Yeah. Are you involved in the, the upcoming Seneca event they, they're calling the Brew and Q? Yes, we'll be there. Yep. Okay, That's advertised heavily. That should be good. And we also allowed the two breweries that haven't opened yet, but um, <coughs> Jocassi Valley Brewing and Kiwi Brewing Company, uh, they're, we're allowing them to come make beer at our brewery, so they'll have beer to pour there as well. 
a very collaborative group of brewers who are also farmers in the area. You probably know the Callahans, BJ and Amanda Callahan. Um, he's working on a, a brewery to open on his farm. He's a big supporter of this bill, as are the folks from um, Jocassi Valley and Kiwi Brewing. Um, and then we have supporters across the state. Uh, there's another farm-based brewery um, opening up in Lexington called Hazelwood Brewing Company. And then um, we got some, port some supporters in the low country, um, low tide brewing. There's about a dozen breweries who have already said they're going to show up and support it. And we think that's probably enough. But the more people we can get out to come on Thursday and show Commissioner Weathers that uh, we're here to grow it and we're here to buy it and we're going to make that commitment to do it. It's going to have a big economic impact, much larger than what is currently happening, which I think the distribution system, the way it is, is hindering our per our growth. We're a very small brewery. We're probably one of the 10 smallest breweries out of the, I think it's almost 70 breweries in South Carolina now, but we're one of the 10 smallest ones. Uh, however, we're one of the highest rated and one of the most award-winning, along with her nephew's brewery, who's probably the most award-winning brewery. <laughs> How is uh, the neighboring states, Georgia, North Carolina, on their their laws? Is do they do they do this too? North Carolina just got rid of pretty much uh, the three tier system for small breweries. So for craft breweries that produce less than twenty five thousand barrels, which is like um, a lot of beer, it's like uh, seven hundred thousand gallons or something like that. Um, no brewery in the state is that big. Last year, I think the largest brewery was Thomas Creek. They produced I want to say twelve thousand barrels. RJ Rockers, Westbrook Brewing are all about the same size. So what they did in North Carolina is if you're a brewery producing less than 25,000 barrels, you don't, you don't have to comply with the three-tier system. You can sell direct to consumers. We're not even asking for that in South Carolina. Personally, I think it's a good idea to pass that bill the way it is, and then this bill is a moot point. But um, I like the spin that this puts on making those who do comply use ingredients from here, which is going to promote the industry. Oh, yeah. We also have, like, Dr. Kresovich at Clemson, who has been doing variety trials, bringing back heirloom grains and regionally unique grains. We've been trying those out for him, purple straw wheat, varieties of sorghum, stuff like that. So he's into pushing the knowledge from uh, academia into the, like, into the farmer's hands as a network. So he's sending two folks out to the meeting on Thursday. Uh, there's like all the people that need to be involved are involved. We just need more and uh, putting the good word out there. So uh, I would be happy to wait around. Well, I don't really want to wait for it, but mm -hmm. if South Carolina were to pass the same law as North Carolina, I think it's going to be a lot harder to pass because the distributors are, are protected and they're very well funded in South Carolina. The two main distributors are owned by Anheuser-Busch, which is in um, Budweiser, brand and then Miller Coors, which is uh, Miller and Coors products, which nothing against the product. And I know the people that work there and we even distribute our beer through them because we have to. Um, but additionally, with this bill doesn't mean that those distributors go away. It's only the breweries that are complying with 60% um, of ingredients from the state. And also, we're probably not going to want to deliver our beer all the way to Myrtle Beach and um, uh, Charleston. We're still going to let our distributors do that, but we'll just deliver it locally um, sure. in that kind of aspect. And additionally for us, since we won these several of these awards recently, um, we have inquiries across the country. So we now distribute in five states, but we're w one of the ten smallest breweries. But we get a premium for our product, and if they want to buy more of our beer in Washington State than they do in South Carolina, that's okay with us. You know, it's the demographic who likes the type of beer and has the appreciation for the whole storytelling behind it that this is our region. So we do make some very high-end, expensive beers. We also make some very light, easy-drinking, yellow fizzy beers with local hops and local mm -hmm. grains. So it's just a matter of uh, a little bit on that background. I met Rex because I worked in biological and agricultural engineering at Clemson for seven and a half years before uh, leaving to do the brewery full-time. Um, so my experience is with like oil seed crops, oil pressing, value-added products from uh, crops we grow here in the South. And this just s slides right into my background, my experience. I built 26 biodiesel and ethanol facilities around the world. Um, know a lot about the technology and how to implement this kind of stuff. So I think I think we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Sounds good to me. How, I want to ask you about hops. Does yeah. is it grow well in like around here i heard it didn't <laughs> I, I just don't think it's going to be lucrative but i think that you can grow good hops here and make good beer with them but um to it's compare we got about one pound per plant this year 
and um, up north, they're getting about eight pounds per plant. And then in the northwest, like Oregon and Washington, really they're getting the... 16 pounds per plant. So they can afford mechanization, whereas we took each bind down on uh, Saturday. Each bind is 20 feet tall and handpicked every flower off of it and then sorted A grade and B grade ones for different uses. It was a lot of work. We did it with volunteers, uh, you know, free well, beer and smoking a pig. What, uh, <laughs> what um, Oconee County growers are there, or will they be new avenues for our growers in Oconee County, do you think? I, obviously, it sounds like hops in one of them, but <laughs> is there? No, but there are things that do grow really well here. Apples, peaches, grapes, uh, honey, um, sorghum, um, variety of grains, oats, millet, mm -hmm. barley, So you spelt, think that'll be wheat, a new avenue rye. for... Why me keep going? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of things we do grow here, and focusing on those things over... <laughs> oh. like mushrooms. Oh, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, we're working on a mushroom beer right now. <laughs> so. What, what is it we could do to help? Um, reach out to the folks you know who are working in politics right now. Um especially in the ag sector. And we want to push this through as an agricultural bill. We don't want to like go to war with the distributors. And right now, we're the only brewery in the state that uses 60% ingredients from this state. And so we're hoping that that's like a good thing for this bill. It's saying there'll be more breweries like us in the future. Um, and some breweries who are existing may agree to jump on board to it. So we think this is like a baby step rather than just telling the distributors we're going to have everybody distribute their own beer from now on. I don't. I don't think that's a good option. They have built their businesses for decades, um, you know, serving and doing what they do, and many breweries are still going to want to use that infrastructure. So, uh, just we just want to open the door um, for farm-based breweries and uh, talking to your local representatives, senators. If you know anybody at the Department of Agriculture or the, the State Department of Agri uh, State Agriculture. Um, th they're the ones who are hosting the meeting on Thursday. It's 2 to 4 p.m. at the South Carolina State Farmers Market. And my partner, Brad, will be like officiating, kind of open up with a little bit of history, talk about what we're looking for and the elements that are going to be in the draft of the bill, and then ask for a sponsor. <laughs> so, yeah, at and least you, we think you that's how it works. hope to get that draft ready and push through and get get it to the um, people in October. Yeah, it's a pretty tight timeline, but we're willing to jump behind it to at least get it on the floor for October. You have some groups supporting you now? Uh, the main group so far has been the South Carolina Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau, right. Um, and the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. So um, what they've asked us to do is this grassroots effort, which is part of why I'm here right now. Um, get the people on board who are in Farm Bureau who say, I'm growing grain, I got the equipment, I'll grade my grain and send it to that place to get a little better price for it. Um, and then we've got the breweries lined up who want to buy the product. So uh, now we need, it would help to have more growers show up. Um, so, I mean, you're right, I'm thinking out loud now. So the other ways you can help is if you know growers who already have a lot of this equipment or are interested in getting into it. I know some folks from this area who've already expressed that they want to grow specifically for this, like Jason Davis, I'm sure many of you know. Um, drawing a blank on some others. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the folks are already here. We just want more of them to come out. Um, if you know any breweries, too, <laughs> tell them to come to the meetings. I won't be there until Thursday. Right. So thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. We've been very informative. I enjoyed learning yes. what I did. So. Sorry I didn't bring any samples, but. <laughs> well, we'll catch you later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try to support you. We'll try our best. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Next item is the Heritage Fair table. Good evening, y'all. Um, so the question is, that I have for you all is like, would you all like to have a table at the Heritage Fair, the Agriculture Advisory Board have a table at the Heritage Fair to say both what we do as well as perhaps advertise our November kind of talking session that we had? So I guess that's the first question is, do you all think that'd be something worthwhile to have is that a, a table or a representation there at the fair? Why not? Yeah, 
And, and yeah. I'll put the caveat on there that by saying yes, that's an inherent agreement that you all will show up and work the table. Yeah, exactly. All right, that, that's the that vote. We understand. And that. this isn't for the listening session per se. This is just to say, hey, we're the Ag Board, we're here. Mm -hmm. I've also reached out to uh, a couple other departments, see if they want to kind of have like a like county presence there. Um, I have asked around for different like supplies, like the pop up tent and whatnot. I believe the Heritage Fair will give us a table spot. So if you all think that's something that you want, perhaps you all should talk about it. Well, we've been talking about advertisement a lot and Heritage Fair a lot, so it seems like it's logical to do that. Um, now, that, that fair goes on all week, so we'd have to mm -hmm. figure out when we It starts on the, the, well, Tuesday, Tuesday night. It goes to calendar. Um, I got money. No, it starts Tuesday this year. The last sure. week in September. Yeah, I think they had that. Dinner that Monday night. Monday yeah, night the dinner. dinner. But I mean, is the actual fair the? Um, I mean, that's the start of it, though. Yeah, yeah. But we wouldn't have a tent at that. I don't think. I mean, we wouldn't. We're saying it. Monday the twenty fourth is the first night. Is that correct? That's when they have that. Um, the dinner. The dinner. Okay. Uh, farm to table dinner. Yep. And it goes through the Saturday night. Well, actually, uh, it goes through the, right or through Sunday. It goes through Sunday, right? How far does it go? I can't remember. I, can, I was I sitting remember. here like, trying to remember. I was thinking that they shortened it a little bit. I but thought it does go too. through Sunday, but I was thinking that it didn't actually start till. Okay. But I, call the pro. Well, <laughs> shoot, I can't find my <laughs> dates. I had. I, we talked about this at the um, beekeepers meeting the other night. Let's see. Um, September twenty fifth through the 29th. 29th. Twenty-five through twenty-nine. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the interweb. Gotcha. Yeah, two, that's why I said Tuesday night. That's how they're. So that is Saturday. They must not be doing the Sunday. Twenty night. So that's five. That's five nights that we would have to mm -hmm. either have a table staffed or if that's plus all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's something that would be interesting to you, of course, it doesn't have to be. You know, people aren't have to be for twelve hours, but. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, we could just have a table there with stuff on it, but that's, yeah. I, I don't see that being the, yeah. being a push. Now, I could also ask if we could just have a table for a few nights there, like maybe like Friday, Saturday, or. Mm -hmm. It's the busiest. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I, but um, I don't know if that's a possibility with moving mm -hmm. around infrastructure and whatnot. I did talk to, um, at Thursday night at the beekeepers meeting, um, we have, they have a big exhibit, like a, they have a, uh, when you caught like one of those buildings. And I did ask Glenn if maybe we could be next to them. And I know David, their group, the Oconee um, Cultivation Project, are going to have a table too. And if we all could kind of be together and maybe kind of work, you know, so we'll, there'll be somebody around and that kind of thing. Um, and maybe even work in like something, you know, in conjunction with them, just sort of support each other on it so I don't know if y'all feel like that's a good idea I, I think it'd be would, around the then, even folks. if it was one person there you wouldn't feel like you were because yeah. you know I mean we all kind of know some of the beekeepers people we yeah, have agriculture you know yeah and I think that that would kind of draw more people around too well so. I tell you I'm I'm busy as I'll get out there's no way I could be there at that table uh, with the Farm Bureau doing everything through the Farm Bureau plus the Heritage Fair and what we do, and plus the apple crop coming, that's my, I mean, you're talking about right. September and October are my busiest right. time. Gotcha. And uh, I'm almost sure that Ed's the same way. Yeah. We're, you know, we're getting ready for the apple festival that's coming up. You're getting, we got so much going on right there, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be awful hard for me to help as far as man the table. And try to get everything I've got to get done. Yeah, understand. we understand that. Oh yeah. yeah, that's your season. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Black and white. What we could do is sign up, you know, for tentative hours. Mm -hmm. Do a sign up sheet. And that's kind of what we do with the beekeepers, and it really is, except for Saturday. You know, it's like from four to eight or four to nine. I think there, or I think Friday night goes to ten or something like that. So it's not like. And two, if when they have the rodeo, that that's it. Everybody's going. Everybody to, goes to, to the rodeo. That, you know, yeah, so, so we'll need to look at kind of like that's what I was looking for, like the calendar to see what 
Um, I mean, the farm's calendar for them. I'll look at. The good thing is we have another few weeks, so we can, we have another meeting before then, so we could finalize things at that. Sure. So I can ask if we can just have a table for like Friday and Saturday. Is that correct? Would that sound best? Or do we want to try to do the entire entire kit and caboodle? That's probably the best, unless there's something really special on a Thursday or whatever. Like the kids go from school on one day. I don't know. They go, they go during the day. During the day. Yeah. So I don't think we probably yeah, won't want to have anything then. But we could. It's not that many folks there, but them. Yeah, yeah, but I still th they usually usually the crowd starts building up Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Saturday depends on football season whether Saturday's all that great at night. So you might want to do it. You know, it's maybe when they Thursday, have their Friday, and Saturday. Rodeo they have it on Saturday night, right? I think they yeah. find the season. yeah the rodeo's on Saturday night. Saturday night, that's that everybody goes to that. You thing. got high school football in there too. It's on mm -hmm. Friday night, so yeah, yeah. it's kind of that's. Yeah, the we high school road is at five on Friday and one and eight on Saturday. What'd you say, Nick? Uh The high school rodeo is at five o'clock on Friday and then at one p.m. and eight p.m. on Saturday. Okay. There'd be cloggers, a baking competition. Hey, they stole our idea. Um, no, they have that every year. Nope, they stole. <laughs> <it. laughs> King, King Arthur. That King Arthur. Yeah, our um, recipe thing is going to be one night. I think that might be Thursday night, too, the tasting contest part of our recipe thing. Right. So did you ever so – I don't know if she's, they've decided which slot they're going to stick us in yet, but it's – Well, in that case, we definitely need a table that I night. I know. Well, I'll, I'll, like I said, we'll have a few more weeks to figure that out. But sure. we can we can ask her if we can abbreviate. So, but I'll, I'll work forward getting tables and pop-up tents and the infrastructure needed to, for us to – we have a here. deadline to tell tell them so they'll know you're looking at Um, Well, they, we've already talked to them, and they're going to let us have a table, we know. But he's just trying to figure if we can do it on a abbreviated, not maybe not do it Tuesday, uh, Tuesday Wednesday. Yeah. You'll be at the supper on Monday night, won't you? Okay. Don't you think it's a good idea for all of us to come to that? As many Don't as possible, of course, yeah. table be together kind of for that time. Um, That'd be good. I wonder. You remember the time at that thing? So I can't remember that. She's never been. I haven't been to no, that. I can't one. remember. What do they call it? The Taste of Oconee. Well, it used to be steak in Oconee, but they've yeah, changed it now to kind of for the farmers. Actually, that um, is what to, it's uh, farm in Oconee. I think is what they're calling it now. Which Who part? was the speakers last year? Farm it was. Uh, it was Hugh Weathers. Wasn't yeah, it? he was there, and who was that other? Uh, gentleman talks good while um, I don't know I, you remember I can't remember, remember. I was no. out, out but see the, wasn't it the, the Chamber of Commerce put on one and they quit putting it down so the Farm Bureau picked it up and actually you got two mm -hmm. this time because you know Monday one. and Tuesday mm -hmm. but right. one's at the fair and one's not at the fair right fairgrounds isn't that I right I think they both at the oh, fair is it now no well, last year it wasn't it was somewhere else huh he is having one at his place the next. Well, I know one of them. We were talking about it, the Farm Bureau. So I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't we'll know. get, we'll get our, we'll get we'll get a little bit more information. The speaker is going to be, uh, uh, heck, he used to be our extension agent for years. Uh, Mr. Uh, Howard. No. no. The old, Bing uh, Boggs. Boggs. Yeah. Mr. Oh, Boggs. Mr. Boggs. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I my got mind me. went blank. I, I got Mr. Bob. I right. know you did. I know you did. So he's going to be the speaker. Oh, okay. So let's figure out which one we want to go to and and. Be there. Where? Monday night. At the supper. Um, if I don't have a meeting that night, I believe that's a BZA meeting night, so I may or may not be able to. I think I'll be. I think I can. I can be there. It's the twenty. Sorry, it's the fifth. Twenty fifth. Let's see. That's a Tuesday. Oh, it's a Tuesday, not a Monday, right? Do we, did you say it's a Monday night or Tuesday Monday. night the dinner? The 24th. 24th dinner. Uh, let's see, that's I'm the first, sure that's second, right. third. Uh, I'll have to see how the board is on the appeals. Um, that's their meeting night generally, but they're not always on or not. And I'm not always on their staff, so I'll see, but I'll definitely try. That would be good if we all. I'd like to be. David, can you um, find out 
if we can locate with the beekeepers and the other group you mentioned. Yeah, I already asked her to see okay. if that we could do that. Well, that's a good idea. To do that. That'd that's be why good because if you and the beekeepers and yeah, well, I'll you know, be there some two of birds the time one stone. Too, so. mm -hmm. That would work out good. So we'll start around a sign up sheet and see who wants to work what hours. And it won't hurt if we, you know, have multiple people there. Um, volunteering, good. sir. Working implies you're getting paid. Sir, sir what? <laughs> you're volunteering, sir. <laughs> volunteering. I think it would be good if it was all there and we got introduced, don't y'all? Mm -hmm. And to stand up and let everybody see who us. we are and what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. 100%. Mm -hmm. At the dinner? Yes. I'll speak to her about that, too. Um, okay, good. Marlene, you can, too. If you... Who's in charge of the dinner? Actually, the chamber and the farm center work together on that, I believe. Unless... Okay. So, looking at the ta at the last page of the hand uh, handouts, or the printout, um, <laughs> county has the top pop-up. You believe you can get yeah. some tables, some chairs... Yeah, all the, the hard the hard stuff. Uh, Miss Debbie has ordered, uh, or is in the process of ordering some banners. I can get a tablecloth, a nice uh, okay. Destination Oak County tablecloth from uh, Parks and Rec. Um, other signs you want to do, all the other infographics, any sort of handouts we want to do, just let me know. I get those printed. Uh, oh. The other thing I thought maybe we could make it look nice. I mean, granted, uh, the banners and stuff are okay, but, I mean, you all have enough historical stuff going on that kind of relates to farming, so we make it kind of look look like something if y'all wanted to, to to decorate it yeah i had mentioned to adam um i was at the south carolina beekeepers uh meeting uh was this, this about a couple weeks ago and carrie owen who's at be well and uh pickens had some antique um extract extraction uh thing huge one and he had it a little display, and it really made it just was real interesting. So it made people come look at it. You know, it's if we had something like that, if anybody knows of any kind of something that wouldn't be too hard or too uh, valuable to um, display, it would be sure kind of neat because it does draw people in that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That that was really interesting to see that. Well, if we could get character. something even like from Mr. Hollyfield, apples, something, apples. something to kind of you know. You know what I'm talking about. Even an empty box or something that says apples going, on it. I'm you going know, three something. places with apples down there as we got now. I mean, you uh, know what I'm talking about. Something that yeah. represents a few of the farms. Right, exactly. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. apple crates or canned goods you know, or pictures something. or yeah. Yeah. Just something. what have you. And uh, maybe some pictures. I tell you what, if you had a hand, hand corn sheller, one of those old hand corn shellers, that would be neat. Yeah. And mm -hmm. let, you know, I could turn it. Something to represent or or the people. Something like that. And see, that way you ain't got a mess. You, right. <laughs> you know. That somebody represent but, that we're representing. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I may have an idea about that. We'll let you know. Okay, cool. So you all get back with me on dates and availabilities, and then we'll both <coughs> eventually put the on to the next meeting. Gotcha. Cooler extension cords and all that, we're okay. Fan or. Yeah, I'm not. I, 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 re I require certain amenities. I can, I can <laughs> contribute to that. <laughs> Um, prizes, awards, certificates. Direct. That would be for the. Right. Yeah, we need to look at that award thing. Okay. Good. All right. Um, farmer rancher listening session November. Thought so the, the last one went super well. Thought the I last thought. one was great. Good notes. Good minutes on that. Um, what we need to do is try to. Stay in touch with those groups and follow up with them if we can. Help them any way we can. Which, back to Mr. Thornton there, I, I didn't mention it, but what what would we like to do to help him? Just contact some people like he asked for, and because um, it's meeting is what three days away, so we don't have a lot of time. Y'all know any? If you have any connections? You, um... Does anyone know? Senator Alexander, by chance, he'd probably be a, someone to start with. Yeah, he's something I need. Him. Okay, that'd be great. I mean, uh, we could. Um, I think too. I, I think uh, the idea that it may uh, encourage people to grow more in Oconee County, if we can even get that part of it in there, that you know that we're. 
um, it's a av uh, it's another market or another type of market that we could go into. Um, I think that's a really great um, avenue he has going in there. You know, we see a lot of breweries and wineries popping up everywhere, and so yeah, that's a, that's another 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 product we could promote. So contact who you can and. Uh, I plan to read up on it on Facebook to make sure I understood everything he said. So, because a lot of moving parts. Okay. Um, listening session in November. You had a, I believe I saw an outline or a draft or agenda. Yes, there was just a kind of a, my thoughts on it. Hopefully, and this will relate a little further down. Hopefully, we're able to uh, advertise it really well and get a lot of people in here. Um, so, like last time, I think there's about 20, 30 people in the room. And we have eight or ten people speak. And that took a solid two hours by the time we listen to everybody. Um, if we get critical mass in this room, I don't know necessarily we'll be able to let people speak and people who want to speak, you know, it doesn't, won't really feel like everybody's got a chance to say something. So perhaps we can kind of play it by ear, but if we have like, the same amount of people as last time, maybe do it the same way. But if we have a lot more people, we can do breakout sessions, like have one – Kind of in my head, we have you know a couple people come and speak to kind of educate. Like we had Sharon DeRitter talk about grants last time. We have someone from Upstate or something like that talk about other things that could affect all farmers. And then we do break out by voting district. So you know district one, two, three, four, five. You all go to different corners of the room, or you know depending on how many people we have. And then after say an hour or whatever time frame works, we all come back and then everyone kind of brings it up like one representative from each group says, hey, we're concerned about apples, peaches, pears kind of thing. Um, that's kind of my, my thoughts on the, the idea, on the, the process. But if you all have any thoughts, please. A lot of people we invited couldn't make the last one, so we'll re-invite those and anyone else you can think of. We had a good turnout. I mean, it was, and everybody spoke well. A lot of good information. I have a, I, I think um, in the vein that you're talking about there, Adam, mm -hmm. um, I like, I mean, I, I enjoy hearing from everybody, but, you know, the, like you say, like sharing or whatever, I think maybe if we had those people here, you know, and maybe introduce themselves and what they do or whatever, mm -hmm. but I liked hearing from the actual farmers and the growers. Right. And that's really, I, I mean, you know what I mean, if we could, have them have more time, I think, and make sure, and if we have enough, you know what I'm saying, I think we should focus on the, what the farmers have to say, and it's nice to have the other, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe like you said, have a, something ahead of time that they kind of speak and introduce themselves and tell them what they have to offer and then let the farmers kind of have the floor. I think that's... So instead of break, doing a breakout... To or like even, a, you could still do that, but it depend, you know, it would depend on how many you have. Right, like you yeah, said. I think we'll have to play it by ear. You know, if we get right, but, 10 um, people or 100, if we get 100 people... Right, and maybe yeah. we'll have more of an idea if, when we invite people, like who, maybe if we could, you know, you know, if we each do it, we'll have more idea if they're going to be able to come or not, you know, too. So, But I, I think I want to hear more from the farmers right. themselves. So. Are there any people that we had last time that we want to re-invite? You mentioned Ms. DeRitter. She, she's in here. She, are you going to invite her again? Oh, yeah. I'll invite. Uh, I was thinking we'd have that or maybe someone from upstate talk about conservation easements just for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, this is what it Because you know, there's a lot of misinformation. And people still call all the time looking for land grants like they did in the early 1800s here. Um, people still call all the time looking for land grants. Um, so perhaps we can clear up some uh, of that confusion. Um, we don't do land grants, by the way. As FYI, that's why I raised my eyebrow. Okay, great. So invite people. It'll be November the eighth. Uh, say November eighth. November eighth in in yeah, these chambers, right? November October. You know, I I misspoke. It's the twelfth, not the eighth. I oh. I need to correct that. My bad. It's well, Monday, maybe. November twelfth, not eighth. Better to catch it now. Yep. Yep. I don't know why I thought. Got a few eighth. months to catch up. That's good. Is that something we can make maybe flyers for and put out when we have our table at the Heritage Fair? I think so. How about the infograph thing? Is that? I um 
I was late getting back to, to uh, her, to Ms. Hartman, but um, I gave her the corrections that we spoke about and, uh, and, and sent it to her, so she should be making the changes and coming up with something. We should have it by the fair. Oh, yeah, good. she's uh, she's had a lot fall on her lap yeah. in the oh, last yeah. week, and she's, oh, yeah, I so. <laughs> and I've been busy, too, so. Um, gotcha. All right, uh, marketing and advertising, the agricultural directory. I think it's a really good directory. Um, Dr. Gray was working on that last, I heard, and Miss Kim isn't here. Miss yeah. Wilby was working on it. Well, they're still making it, uh, making it better, adding to it. Um, so it hasn't gone up on the website yet. No, I just thought that was a draft. I didn't, want, I didn't draft. want to put right, put, right. put anything and, um, up yet until yeah, y'all vote yeah, on yeah. it. When she gets back, we're gonna we're gonna go through and have you talk to her, have yeah. a special word. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna finish it out. So. Yeah, to me, the the way it'll work is once you you all get a copy that you all like, you'll mm -hmm. vote on it. Say this is what we want. We'll send it to council as a Sample. this is what we've okay. created kind of mm -hmm. thing. So yeah, I'm not gonna put anything out there. And that she all specifically asked me to. Okay. Will there be hard copies of that? Sure. Okay. Nothing bound, per se. Like, I really don't have any way to find it, but I can certainly print stuff okay. out. Well, that idea has come up in, in reference to the info pamphlet also. If it's not 100% dead on, we can put it on the website and still tweak it, right? And Correct. same with the directory. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be perfect or all in inclusive just yet it's that's is correct that, is that good and all this together once we get like the ag directory the market table contest the logo the uh websites the brochures and things of that nature all put together that all makes the website because we do have a page currently a page that just lists like the back of material agenda but once we have enough to really put something out there then we can you know, versus piecemealing it then we can have a huge very kind of significant kind of coming out party with it um, but yeah, as far as putting any draft version of it, I'd like to give it to counts before we uh, oh, sure, do anything yeah. like that. So we'll have like a landing page for agriculture on the county? Oh, we do, do at we? the moment. I'll bring it up here, just give me a second. This is a good directory. Y'all did a nice job on it, Ms. Sandra. Council. Oh. Meetings and commissions. Yeah. Still more to be added. Ag to advisory it. board. So it really. So we'll have more than just agendas on there. You're saying that we'll have. Yeah. Maybe. No. It's it's so this. Yeah. This is all this is. This is the same one that was on the other website. Um, but once we have those other other items, I can certainly add them as as we go as we get something that's worthwhile. So the infographic. We'll have to work with IT, but they can find a place to like have it on there and whatnot. So. That looks good. Yeah, they did an excellent job for the website. Can you, can you scroll down one real quick? Is it just one page? Yep, just mm -hmm. this just this plus all the, these are just links to the minutes and agendas and stuff. But we can certainly fill this up with whatever we want to. Okay, so we're saying run it by council, run the ag directory by council and other items like that get their blessing and then then put it up right I, th I think at the at the end of the day make sure their their buy-in is, is is important that's a good point I'm good with that um any further on discussion on that all right market to table contest that well be actually um we had a winner <laughs> cool we had one entry and a winner in June uh, actually, David and his uh, friend, uh, and they did a great job. Uh, I had it, I have it on my um, Facebook page if you want to look at it, Deb's Voice of Ag for Agriculture. If you want to look at what they did, okay. it's uh, it's really good. I've also, we've got a couple of, ent or at least one, really two entries for this month. Yeah, some lady was telling me she was going to and, do something. Um, I talked to, I was at the uh well, Hollow Farmers Market early Saturday morning, and the ladies of the Pilot Club are all going to do it, they said, hopefully. And uh, I was at the Foothills, and I have several people there that are working on there. So, and Sandra said she had a few people mm -hmm. tell her that. So, 
hopefully. And then I hope when the apples are get out, we can start pushing it for the people to do some apple stuff for us. So we're going along. It's, it's rolling out slow, but I believe by, we're going to pick up some steam here pretty quick. So I've got the a banner coming uh, and some like postcards that kind of advertise it. So I'll be bringing those to the farm and, and giving them to y'all so you can take them to the farmer's markets or wherever to, to people. So I think we're doing pretty good. I'm getting some pretty good feedback, so. Good. That's great. Well, I will encourage all my cooks to submit. Oh, and I'd like for y'all to all do one too. Huh? <laughs> I, I'll pick Carly, one. I, I, I picked one out of the file, and my wife said, hey, "Have you ever made this?" I said, "No, but it looks like a good recipe." She said, "Well, you might want to make it before you submit it." So, <laughs> good no, point. That's all right. You just tell us where you buy your stuff. And then... <laughs> all right. Next, anything else? All right. Very good. Logo. The ongoing discussion of our logo. I don't. I don't know whether well, there's. I know, Come to us. I know what it looks like. Yeah. It won't hurt to delay it a little longer because, as was mentioned, there are a lot of logos. And if we get too divisive, you know, everybody has their own thing anyway. Um, if we get too many logos out there, it might get confusing. I don't know. What do y'all think? We have permission to use the Heritage Fair logo, right? And the, also the uh, Heritage Fair. No, well, well, we've the, used it. The farm. The farm center. Oh, the farm center. Yeah. No, yeah. The, yeah. The, the blue ribbon. The farm. The, the, it's the, not the, farm the track. Center, the, you talking about the blue tractor? Yeah. Yeah. Or it's other yeah, ribbon. Yeah. We. Kind of do. I'm going to ask some more questions again to them just that's to the one we check. just couldn't change we could right we weren't allowed to change it just want to make sure everything but yes theoretically yes, i think we, we she said we could put our aab uh, name on it and that's about it right and we can use our i call it the destination oconee logo it's the pretty one the one that's on that thing the, on the wall so and did we decide okay all right just kind of use what we've got yeah i mean i, I default to the the, this county's the, the destination mm -hmm. of Coney logo. That's just kind of my default on stuff until, until I'm told otherwise. That sounds good. We'll just go with what we have and default to destination. Um, did we, well, we did vote on the Oconee Grown logo, didn't we? As a as a catchphrase, yes. As a, just a little slogan, or mm -hmm. so we can use that. Okay, all right. The agricultural display. Yeah. So um, I had asked you all for some pictures a few a while back, and I got one picture. I'm not yeah. going to say it's right. um, but it's okay. Uh, so I went. I happened to be over at the cultural center here in Oconee, and uh, Leslie said, hey, I have agricultural stuff coming out of my ears. Uh, they just, you know, people call them all the time, like dropping off stuff. So uh, her and I are going to work together to create some sort of, just like a proper agricultural, she's going to work together. I'm going to carry stuff, and she's going to set up a nice proper agricultural display out here somewhere in the main atrium area of, uh, of the county. So hopefully we'll have some, like, plows and other machinery and Ag stuff. So, well, Joseph's supposed to uh, up at the NRC office. He's mm -hmm. supposed to help me go around the farms, or him. He's out there more than I am to the other farms, and get some pictures of the farms. Nice. And the farmers. That's that's key right there. And the things that they do. So I'll try to get busy on that. That'd be great. Bit, Soil and water are hippie out on those pictures. I got a slideshow. Yeah. yeah, you tell me these have on the walls or oh, these? Heather. It was on the walls, and she took them down because at one time she did a project and she put them in the grocery stores. <laughs> she did did a display in a grocery store. She was telling me, but some of the pictures had gotten out, outdated, you know, and all, and so she took them down in her office because there was just on the on all those uh, what do you call them file cabinets. It was just a huge display of all the farmers in Oconee County. A lot of them, not maybe all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, so we were going to try to update that information and um, 
when you did that when you do that display we could put a space perfect on that. yep i'll get busy busier <laughs> all right uh, 150 celebration activities 150th celebration activities um i don't We've kind of, I mean, I, we haven't really got anything new on that, have we? I, that we haven't had any more meetings. We kind of stopped that, and I hadn't heard any um, updates on when we're going to have the, the unveiling or whatever of the one thing. And the statue? That I can't, talk, yeah, the okay. one thing we can't name. But um, the, uh, and I know, well, the, you know, of course, the gala is still coming up in October, and um, um, I think we can kind of try to tie in our, you know, our fair things with 150 years too if that if we decide to do I mean since we're mm -hmm. decided to do that we can do that as, as well certainly <clears throat> are we going to try to do anything at the Apple Festival as far as the oh, display yeah. or Definitely have to what one is the Apple that? Festival yeah. it's early September I think oh, uh, first what's the date yeah. on that the first weekend, I think, okay, in yeah. September. I can't remember. That's pretty about I'm just told when to go and when to be there. Started in. I just don't understand why, and everybody else has asked this too a lot, why do they have the parade and everything while school is going on? And a lot of the, like, a lot of kids were, you know, wondering why. It looks like I wish that would change where a lot of us could go. More, more people could go, I think. That. Who's in charge of that, anyway? There's several. Several? <laughs> well, I think. My wife can tell you every one of them you need to know. Okay. I kind of stay away from that. Right. As much as I can. <laughs> I, put, I saw the, the, I have it here, the schedule right here. If it's I can like get it to come up. It's 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something. Yeah, here right it is right here. Buses right are now. trying to get through town. And they used to let us go to the Apple Festival in school years I guess they don't let yeah, them they do used that to, that's the reason the time is like that. They used to let them out early, years ago. Okay, here we go. Well, maybe we need to work on that. Too. The parade is at 5 p.m. Friday, so they yeah. ought to be out. Okay. Well, not since they don't get out till 15 to a 5. I really, you well, know, high school don't now. What is, isn't it right? Isn't that something like that now? 15. Really? It's middle school 4:30. Same like. Really. Really? It might be 3.30. It might be 15 to 4. I can't remember. I don't run that route. I just run my <laughs> elementary route, and we get out at 2.30. Oh <laughs> but uh, it's, it's yeah. on over. Yeah. It's on over. Really? Like Interesting. 45 to an hour more. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I guess smarter kids the need more school. The did, staggered yeah. time this past year started all that thing. Yeah. Okay. It's, they're in Rodeo, too. And, and the I'm date is the first like weekend of something? Yeah, it starts. I'm sorry. Yeah, it starts... Um, well, scholarship pageant is the 25th of August, and it goes the September 4th through the 8th is the, like the whole week they have things. Here's the little schedule. Yeah, it's a whole week I of it. They have you, recipe contests, uh, beauty right. contests. Yeah, uh, I've been to some of the beauty contests. You name it's it. It's, a, it's a middle school. Yeah, they've got one, a little... Golf tournaments too, see, so that's not like a big thing. I get, I mean, not you know, like downtown or whatever. And then the river floats on Wednesday. Yeah. Thursdays when they start, I guess, in Westminster at, with the baking contest. Where would the display? They have fit one best. display contest in the businesses. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's not too many businesses. Arts and craft there. shows. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they did have all that, so. We you would have like a, do you have a presence down there of some sort? Do you yeah, I got a booth. Do? Yeah. Where would we want to put the display if we decide to do that? Well, it really doesn't matter because the way everything comes in, I don't know. You need to contact them and see if you have an opening for a display because right. they're usually pretty well full. I understand they're pretty tight, yeah. Could, could we leave some infographics or whatever with you if you have a... You that you need to talk to my wife. wife okay. Yeah, because she, she we, does all that. yeah, we, she runs that show. Her and my daughter, and and usually we've got you. You just got a ten foot space, a 
That's all you've got. You've got to stay in it, too. They don't want you to no, move. No, and you've got, we've got a table that yeah, goes across, and just like we do oh, about it. strict. Understand. And we had not got a lot of room. Time you put your scales, put your, you know, what you're selling, you know, and everything up there, it doesn't take much to fit it all up. But, uh, yeah, we can do something. We can put it out front or something. But you've just got a certain area that you can do. They don't, I think that they do have a, a place for, seem like for organizations that you could post something. I, I, I'll ask, Sue can find out for me. She's, you know. If you would ask her. I'll see ask if we her can see if they haven't got something that, you know, like. Maybe like the head table for you know, information. Maybe they have an information table. Because they, they always have, well, you got the stage, you got the depot, they'll always have. Isn't this on a Saturday the rides morning? rides at the depot. Isn't that right? Isn't it on a Saturday morning or not? What? When all the stuff, y'all sell. Yeah, well, we do Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Friday yeah. and Saturday. We kind of have to move on it because we won't meet again until after the festival's over. So, but we'll, Let me see what we can come up with. Maybe they've, uh, there's something there you could put something. But See, they, they're limited in space, and they have pretty good many vendors. We may just have to walk around. Yeah. Billboard sign. Yeah. 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 You know. Get one of them billboard signs on the front and back. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Now, we just wear our name tag. Yeah, I was going to say this. We got some right. new billboards. I, I love the name tag that I brought off and left my. <laughs> but let me check and see if they've right. got anything. I'll ask her. She knew. Well, she pr pretty much knows that what's going on on that. Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll correspond then, um, Doug. And the radio spot. Adam sent us a nice message about a radio ag minute. And what do y'all think about that? This here? When, I, when I saw the price tag, I, I got a little sticker shock there. I did too. That's what I was looking at, the price. So I, I know the newspaper and, and radio or TV, all that's real expensive. So... For eight hundred dollars per month, we could get Whoa. once during the morning and once during the evening, every day. So sixty spots for okay. eight hundred bucks. Well, um, now if we say we did that in October, for the entire month of October, which I believe maybe our, it's not agricultural. Maybe that's agricultural appreciation month, or perhaps like Ms. Sewell did with the, the beekeepers. Maybe we could ask if council would do like a little pro proclamation. We have the radio spots going on that only told you the ag minute, but also push the farm and rancher listening session as well, because which that's in the first week of November, you know, the eighth of November or twelfth of November. Um, so there's that opportunity to kind of net network all together, kind of you know have that impact. Now, if that's something that we'd like to do, um, we would probably have to go do the ask again to council, or I try to find eight hundred bucks through some other means. Um, but if that's something you all think you would like to do, now the little the script that's on there, that's not written in stone. That's just uh, what it could be. And one of you could do it, or they could do it, uh, as far as the actual recording of the voice. It doesn't have to be live or anything like that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what that is. So if you all have something you all have to discuss and do, we can think about it. Well, even if we only did it one time or, or a couple of times throughout the year, it's uh, better than nothing. Wouldn't break the bank. I, I mean, we wouldn't have to do it every single month. Right. Think. Just fall's a good time, especially with what's going on in September and listening session in November. We should definitely think about doing it in October for the listening <laughs> session to advertise that. Good idea. Yeah. And maybe set or September before the big events are coming for that. You know the Heritage Fair and the Apple Festival. Of course, again that Apple Festival will be here quick. Probably couldn't get it done by then. No, we would be able to get on an agenda. Because I think the council meetings, what month are we in? July or in August? Uh, I don't believe the next council meeting until next Tuesday, if I'm mm -hmm. thinking right. And we won't be able to get on the agenda for that to ask. And then there's the whole contracts getting stuff done. I, I don't know that that's 
perhaps for private industry, that would be an okay time frame. I don't know, working with government, if we can, if I can move that fast. Um, That's the 21st. I believe it is. Okay. That's what I wrote down, so. How do y'all feel about it? It's worth pursuing. How do you think we could raise some money for that? Oh, I could, there's, to me, my first reaction would be to ask council for it. However, I can see if there's any money in the community development budget to do it. Um, I, I don't know if there is or not, um, but that would be the other way to see if it's a budgeted thing. But I like the idea of, council's been very receptive to all the rest of our ag ideas, and they've been very pro-ag as far as I, I can see. So you know, bringing this to them, allowing them to put their fingerprints on it could be helpful. Yeah, I think we should do that yeah. and, and maybe target November. Right, at least, yeah. At least in November. Or doing it in October. Type. October, we might could pull it off in October. Yeah. We'll, we'll try for that. Yes. So to, tar to try to get people for the November meeting. Yeah, that would help. Mm -hmm. Promote mm -hmm. attendance. Can you mention that meeting in the, um, in the Ag Minute to say something mm -hmm. about it? Yeah. yeah. And any of you can do, or you all figure out maybe Mr. Plant does it, or uh, <laughs> no, um, or they can, I imagine they have the, the talent for it as well to kind of, in whatever script we want to do. So I believe we'd probably maybe make a, a motion and vote to ask council for this, and then one of you all present it to council saying, hey, this is what it's for in between. October or for October to push the listing session, which are also, and I'm going to piggyback on our comp plan, on a comprehensive plan onto it, since we're going to have the people in the room and we're already under contract with the consultants. So the, we'll probably have a survey or some other things, questions that we can ask the farmers, ranchers that are in the room already for the, for the comprehensive plan, which also tie into why they're here. So we'll use it as a multifaceted uh, approach. Idea. Do we want to ask them for just a one-time thing and see how it goes? In, in other words, eight hundred dollars amount, a specific amount. We for like kinda, a month, one month, trying it out for a month. Yeah. We kind of need to be specific on what we ask for. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the economic development folks, Mr. Blackwell was. I know he's moving on, but uh, they were real generous with uh, offering to match any printing costs. So they might be. Uh, amenable to some voice <laughs> advertisement. Yeah, that's where, I believe that's where uh, one of y'all got that idea from doing the, the voice advertising because they had the uh, OEA, Economic Alliance, had their radio spots going on. I think in the same vein, that's how I described it to the radio station, was like, you know, ag such a big deal, just like industry is, we can have the, the same thing, so. So explain this, if we get this money and sure. get to do this, one person would go to the radio station or how does this go? How does it, how does this work? The, the, the exact nuts and bolts, I'm not 100% certain, but I imagine we would have one or two scripts, maybe an evening, I, I'm assuming, and then whoever you all chose to go do it uh, would go ahead and like, it's do the speaking, they probably have them do it a few times, master it, and say, okay, this is, you're gonna hear your voice twice a day for the next 30 days. So. Also, another way you could do it is just a conversational, you know. Hi, I'm Marlene, and I'm on part of this new board that's Agricultural Advisory Board to support agriculture in Oconee County. And somebody says, oh, did you know that Oconee County produces this much, you know, and you get, launch a little conversation. Or get, like Adam said, one of their professionals to do it so we don't have to listen to ourselves. Well, make it, you want to make it a little interesting. I think oh, yeah, fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, let's get the money people first to decide what yeah, we're going to do. Yeah, people really want to listen to it. Why you know? don't, I mean, you know, do we want to go a month? Why don't we just do an advertisement when we want to? Can we not buy an advertisement, you know, maybe for I started saying, a yeah. week or 
Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> sure. I, I didn't ask. I just asked them the neighbor. You know, this is what they brought. But I can certainly ask. Yeah, that's a. I mean, you know, you there's so much you can talk about, but you know, I think a lot of times it's you know promoting promoting what we're doing, just like uh, with the grain thing. We just use that as an example. You know, with you know farmers and the grain and breweries coming up, and kind of informing the public out here what's going on. You know. Right. Uh, a lot of people, you know, that's, it's funny to me. These people I know came up me to the farmer's market and didn't know how I had a fruit stand. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I, know. I said, you know me for 15 years, and you know I've been apples. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I think that sometimes it's, you know, I mean, instead of going for a month of 800 bucks, if we could get just a little, let's don't, uh, let's don't break it off in anybody right quick like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm just. This is my opinion now. Sure. Well, that's, you know what I mean? Well, two hundred bucks would be a lot easier to get. Also, oh, that's what I'm saying. You hear it for a week, and then plus we, you know, writing the paper is free, so we still need to get on that. Yeah. What writing in the newspaper? Yeah, like uh, letters to the editor. Like I cut. I cut out one. For eight hundred. Or dear Willie. I mean, you know. I know. Yeah. People there read dear Willie for the drama. Okay. But uh, Next for eight hundred dollars a month, they just about to get a billboard. That's true. People read the paper. Yeah. And we were talking. We might to can get a billboard for that because there's a bunch of them got nothing on it. So that means that they would be trying to get something up there. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm for that. What. What logo should we use on that? <laughs> Let's just say Agriculture Advisory Board for now. There we go. Um, so those are, I mean, if that's the purpose of this brain stuff. If we don't think perhaps oh, we're... Agriculture in, farmers are important. There you <laughs> go. Know, something. Um, I, mean, I, something. I, I like that, yeah. I, billboards, I've always had great luck with billboards. You know, using them for businesses and whatnot, they've, they work. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We could take our info pamphlet and kind of make a billboard out of it. There you sure go. Good. I mean, that's something we need to, you know, more to think about. I mean, 800 bucks to hit and cancel up. I, I mean, you know, funds are, uh, that's, that's the thing they, that kind of hits a sore spot when you go to talking money. Uh, you know, and $800 a month just for a month advertising at WGOG, you know, maybe if we could get a week maybe for the month and something that's coming up, like our listening session. I'm all for the listening session, having that, and people come out and listen to see about that culture. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk, but, you know, i like to see that thing. i like to see this place full, you yeah. know, people that's, that's interested and, and want to come out and support it. Um, you know, I think that would be a good time to do the advertising on things that we're going to do, not just advertising us in general right. for that's the year. Yeah, you know what I mean? Targeting mm -hmm. first. That's target mm -hmm. things that we need to advertise for. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, that's my opinion, y'all. Good. Just like asking for a specific amount, you want to have a target in mind for what you want to talk about. I agree. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, anybody else? Well, I'm gonna say that some of the things that we're doing, um, they're more like a public service announcement. <coughs> it would be free. I was thinking you that. You know, so why would we even this pay is true. for that? Oh, yeah, this is so true. So I think if we just talked with them, or even if we had a reporter come out and interview someone um, for a spot on the radio, and that would be news for them, free for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we'd yeah. like. We are for the public. I mean, that's. Right. We're a nonprofit organization. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we shouldn't really have to pay for it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. I did think of that. It crossed my mind. But okay, let's pursue PSA. Sure. Meantime, okay. Um, website and brochures. We touched on website a little bit and the info pamphlet, whatever you call it, a little bit. So Adam mentioned that we might need to run things by council and make sure they are not surprised and they approve and then we load the website with more than just piecemeal. Have a pretty good presentation. Got my, my thoughts on it. Of course, we, we can put whatever we want to up there, but yeah. having buy-in from all the stakeholders is probably important. How far away are we from... We one council meeting away from presenting something to them? As far as? Like the agri-guide, the ag directory, or 
Uh, I'm going to defer to the, the two, two uh, yeah. board members on your right. Tweak it. <laughs> it's like some tweaking, isn't it? Right, we have to tweak it, and we'll have to wait until yeah. Ken comes back because she's okay. 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 Be I would think it, it's soon. not going to be. When is she back? Yeah. Mm, so I don't think it's going to be that involved. Oh, we've been so busy. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit more modification on the. Right. Do we need to make a vote, though, whether we want to ask them if there's any type of, if we could do some advertising? Do we need to ask them about that for the radio spot, maybe? So the. I guess the ways we could do it is either have a specific detailed question like can we spend two can we have two hundred bucks to spend on advertising on w, at WGOG for the weeks leading up to our farmer rancher listening session, you know, very specified, uh, detailed kind of perspectives on that. Or do we say, can we have a thousand bucks for advertising? And we'll run, you know, and that could be used for two hundred bucks here. Hundred bucks there, and so on and so forth. Um, I think that the latter is probably m more more appropriate before we go to the budget. You know, that, you know, just pass in July one, starting January one, they'll start working on it again. Um, so we can kind of look at it either way. Either can we have a very specific amount of money, or can we just have money? Let's go for the money, then we'll ask for the specific. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So I guess then the question is, how much do we want to ask for? You know, like I said, a thousand dollars ain't bad. Can we have it put back somewhere? Yes, we yeah, sure. don't know. That that's true. I mean, to what, use for I mean it, advertising is not cheap. Yeah. You know, and a thousand dollars is not is gonna that'll get you. That ain't much for, for a year. I mean, you know, but that'll get you a couple of advertisements or three or four, maybe. Depends on where you go and what you do. Yeah, one hundred percent. So is that the kind of way y'all are thinking that we asked for, say, $1,000 for advertising the Ag Board and specific kind of specificity towards the farm rancher listening session, PSAs, um, things of that nature? So maybe Just we have So a, we can get the word out who we are and what we do and, you know. Um, yeah. Normally, okay. yeah. And let's see, we're going to need, a, we need a, probably a motion, a vote on that to ask for, for it, and then somebody will have to, one or more of you will have to go actually do the physical ask for it. So I guess I need a motion to ask council for a $1,000 advertising budget for the Agricultural Advisory Board to advertise for a PSA as well as the farmer rancher listening session. Before we do that, can we got a thousand bucks already, right, for printing? That's correct. I'm okay. Using, Have we used much of it? Using some, but I'm getting ready to use some more. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're halfway through. Yeah. All right. Well, um, do I hear a motion to ask council for a thousand dollars for the upcoming listening session and the public service announcements? PSA announcements. Hear a motion for those to present that to council for. Requesting a thousand dollars. I make a motion. And a second. Second. Okay. Yeah. All those in favor, raise your hand. Okay. Everybody voted unanimously. So. Right. <laughs> Are we going to try to do that? The one the coming up meeting. Too soon. That, that probably. Too not so the next. You year. said something about not being able to get on the agenda. I'm pretty sure it's too, already too set too by short. today. Okay. I just I'm curious. All right. Well, it's tomorrow and Wednesday are pretty busy, so. Oh, that's right. Will they'll meet in uh, two weeks after that? Tuesday. Yeah, I believe so. Yes, sir. So they'll meet the 20... No, that'll... They're right here on our handy-dandy website. That's <laughs> I always have to look because I always get it. They meet the 21st, and so will they meet on the 4th of September? They'll start meeting the full time twice again. <coughs> That's correct, sir. September 4th. All right. Is there any volunteers to present that to council? I can do it if nobody else will. Wants to. Anybody that hadn't had the pleasure yet to speak in front of council that would like to? 
I'd probably get sick of saying this. But I don't mind doing it. Say it before his. Good speaker. I hate asking for money. <laughs> yeah, me too. You're asking for advertising. That's all you're asking for is advertising. Advertising. <laughs> hey, you know. I can help you if you, if you want to do it. I'll be glad I, to I help you. We'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. I, mean, I don't mind doing it if nobody else wants to. And you're going to do that on the 4th? Yes. Okay. Right, Adam? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Anything about brochures? You said you've you spend a little money, you're going to spend some more and talk about the sign. I want to know about the info. Are you going to have that print? Are you are they going to print that for you? Or are we going to need to do that? Or how we, what's the deal? If the deal still stands, Mr. Black will promise to either $1,000 worth of printing or to match that $1,000 council gave us. So, But I mean, are they so actually going to be able, are they going to? I think they have graphics, folks. I'll find out. But Okay. Because we need to go. I'd like to have some. For yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we need to. Because I, I did these that I just did on uh, Instaprint. So. And I plan to do the ba another banner for us that's just going to say Agriculture Advisory Board. Yep. You've got us good and stocked up for the future. Right. So this is something we can use for, you know, for the future. All right, I'll check with Miss Janet about that. And um, okay, invasive species pesticide alert system. Yeah, I, I just want to mention that's something that I want us to talk to about. Maybe put it on the agenda for next time. I'd like to have uh, maybe it's part of our website if if there is something. Like right now, we're under quarantine for the Emerald Ash Borer. Oconee County is has been since uh, the beginning of the year. Um, you can't transport uh, firewood in or out of the county because of that. Um, there's other things too, like gypsy moth and that kind of thing, but I, I think that would be appropriate to have a place, if we could maybe have a place that people were more aware of that and maybe even go into parks and recreation, that kind of thing, make sure that they have those alerts as well. <laughs> I think that would be appropriate for our yeah, um, that's group. and. Um, it's something I, I had a conversation with Dr. Cole. He's the head of the um, Department of Plant Industry. Uh, you remember when Tim Drake was spoke last time? He's Tim's boss. And we talked about the apiary, um, the beekeeping uh, uh, alert system for pesticides and that kind of thing. And um, I haven't really gotten into specifics of that, but I'd like to work on something maybe where Oconee County was maybe was the pilot for that to kind of help get more people involved in that and maybe even branch out to more than just beekeepers but to like the organic farmers and the mm -hmm. people that use uh, like uh, you know uh, integrated pest management or you know like chemical free whatever and mm -hmm. so that we have sort of a, a call center or something I don't know how we're going to do it but I've, I'm, I've, I'm starting to get the people together that work on this and so that I can, I'm going to try to work on that to decide to, if that's something y'all feel like we could work on that would be good oh, yeah. for us to do. Oh yeah. It's important. I know the apple growers don't like it when you spray the wrong time, do they? No. It'd be nice to know, wouldn't it? Oh, we, we're, we're conscious about that I know. too much. If we need. we got to protect our bees. That's so. right. Right. You know. We don't your use, apples, if you spray it the wrong time, you get in trouble, don't you? Well, everything you've got now, there's, there's so many pesticides out there. If you if you keep up with it and you got your license and you go to all the schools and classes, most of it doesn't last but so many hours anyway, and it dissipates. Right, so. right. That's yeah. true. All right, well, that's a good idea. Um, if you would, if, if everybody's if would like agreement to. with me pursuing that, I'm going to get a little deeper into it. I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. Mm -hmm. so. Too. All right, pursue away. All right. I guess we need to vote on it. New business. Hmm. Just I, a name tag. Yeah, there. I just wanted to mention uh, the the ladies. We all got us a name tag. Y'all, we were hoping y'all would want to get you one too. Well, yeah. Seven bucks. Yeah. Seven bucks. I wake up. I'll have you one made. Up. Yes. That's how you do that. Okay. Well, we all pay for our own. <laughs> I don't have any time. When can I get one? 
and she's still just kind of like get everything we'll get together on Thursday. Friday. I thought they were kind of cool. Who orders those? I mean, where do they come from? I think so. We'll get together this week some time to kind of like just look and see. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. It's the same place. It doesn't make sure close up because it's not there. I was going to do it locally. I want to put the place that looks good. That's great. Thank you so much for doing that. Right here. We just met. We had a little. We like a screen or something. We didn't have a forum, but we had a little. I wanted to call it one day. All right. Order me one, please. I'll go ahead and order favorite one, too. Yeah, he'll get one. Yeah, ain't changed. And we have that. Well, supper. Mm, yeah. Most of the time in November that I was telling you about yes. over there at South Union Church. Hold on. We uh, one. I ain't got it. Uh, used to have like a slideshow. Uh, oh, I'll you know, when I get it. Parts. All right. I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People were coming in the door, you know. We just decided put, that we could. Say Heather used to put that together. I'd like to put thought. something like that together <laughs> for us at the fair. All right. We can find some sort of screen or something to run that on. That wouldn't be a problem. We we have one that we presented to council about two years ago, but it's um it's a pretty good show. It's a pictures from the internet, mm-hmm. but you're talking about local. Yes, I want local people. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got taxes here. Um, <laughs> I, I've got some, but I'll let them go if we it goes to a good um, cause. Well, we I just you know, well, not forever. Are, if we don't. Some are local. Them. Some are local. Yeah. I've got we'll I've got it. some good ones from your farm. Oh yeah. Uh, don't you remember when we used to have the the November supper at South Union? Mm-hmm. Where Heather used to have the slideshow set up and it touched mm-hmm. on everybody's farm at, at least one time or another. And it just gave us. I thought it was real nice. I I, I enjoyed that. We could, yeah. Well, I guess we could have like a monitor. We did that with a uh, extension. A couple. We had a big monitor on there. Um, yeah. And we did a. Uh, running slideshow of, and they were doing it more um, the cooking stuff. But a couple of years ago, when we were at the that, fair. would be another thing for make sure that all of us go attend that uh, thing in November at South Union Church that we always have for the yeah. farmers. That would be good. That's that's farmer of the year most of the time, isn't it? Tell me some more, Miss Charlie Field. They do. We, it's all of the <laughs> like superlatives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the they, chicken of chicken people of the year. We have beekeeper of the year. And beekeeper of the year. Beekeeper of the year. We give them plaques out. Uh, farmer of the year. Uh, Cattlemen's Association of the year. Um, and it, it's a good night. And and you have they have a good many door prizes and all going on, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's real good food. It's catered. You know, um, it'd be nice if you could get maybe us on the agenda of that since you... Here you go. Okay. And so that we could maybe talk to everybody. Yeah. And, I used to see that's that... That's getting our word out. I used that to see groups. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I used to see that when I got a pamphlet or a newsletter from NRCS, but I don't, I don't get that anymore, so I don't know when it is. Okay, I'll let you know. We'll, You'll keep us we'll informed. Of we will. We'll go. Yeah. It's usually the, it's a real the good. second Thursday they in use November. This, Rex, like they that. usually send you out a thing that you can go ahead and buy your ticket ahead of time. Right. So you can just, you know, go on in for your um, you know, or stuff or, or give you a ticket just, um, or whatever. Take down some addresses from everybody or whatever, and I'll s- send it to Heather and make sure that we get everything sent out to us. Okay. Let's just send up a paper. Is that all right? There's a. Uh, she already sends me one. So we, well, Marlene, there's a. Uh, somewhere way back in the beginning, there's a page of all our emails and phone numbers. Okay. If you look back through your notes, or if you need another copy, I can. Well, send it'd you just one. be, you know, something I can drop off to her and. Oh, you want? Uh, okay. I'm just going to take it up there to her to make sure that. Rex um, B at Clemson. She knows mine. All right. Let's just let's just uh, put you uh, information down there, and then I can just drop it off when I go by there, and then that makes sure that you everybody want our gets email an invitation. Oh. No, just actually your mailing address okay. is the way they come. Yeah, your name uh, and everything out there. Any other new business? As far as old business, I have, um, we're talking about signage and billboards, Doug. I, I, you know, been talking to Mr. Shirley about um, visitation signs, and Mr. Mr. Less mentioned they're this. getting together signs for tourism. Where right. two signs? The blue signs, right. Yeah, so I just still want to pursue that. I don't know that we've made much progress on on that, but pursue it how, sir? Take like, like, pr- pursue it how? How would you like to pursue that? Just get some signs put up in the county. Oh, for ag. For ag, right? For, uh, yeah, agriculture, advertising agriculture. So that thousand dollars that we were, we'll ask for, we can certainly see if we can parlay that into something. 
or maybe the county would help us, or the tourism part, maybe we could include it with tourism. I know he was, he was talking to, um, Mr. Blackwell was talking to Mr. Shirley, I believe, about um, agritourism and who, who we can get on the slate right. to let people visit their farms. Oh, for Art and Ag, right. That's correct. Art and Ag, that's right. So that kind of goes along with that, too. Yep, 100%. So we'll pursue signage in Art and Ag. Um, the letter to the council versus, versus the, uh, or concerning the ad hoc committee, out of ad hoc cons councilman, golly, it's getting late, Doug. The ex officio member? The ex officio, yes. I believe that's on this agenda, I, I think. Okay. I, think I think they've gotten it. I, I, don't th I think it'll be, I don't think, believe we have to go represent it, but I'll double check on Thursday. Thank you very much. Okay, and then um, that'll be Carrie Roach, we hope. That'll just be opening up the position. Mm -hmm. And then after we get the position, then it'll get, it'll go through the same process that oh, okay. how you all got. Right. Got it. Nomination, all that. Okay. Very good. No, no other new business I know of. Anybody? All right. Well, let's move to adjourn someone and we'll. I'll make a motion. We'll adjourn. I second. Everybody in favor, I hope. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. A lot of good info. Seems like months and months since we were. <laughs>